up at Bridges Academy because I was using drugs. Using drugs heavily. I'd always be in fights with my parents. My grades went from A's. Grades were slipping. To F's. I was expelled from school. Attempted suicide. Attempted suicide. I was hanging with a lot of gangs. When I was stealing like tons of my parents' stuff. I was struggling. Stole my dad's iPad. I didn't participate in school. I was at another boarding school before this. Very impulsive. Life got pretty bad. My home life was awful. Very, very bad family relationships. It's kind of a snowball effect that led me here. I was doing great uh, in my eyes. In most cases, boys come to us at Bridges Academy with three really big issues, and um, those are their relationship with themselves, or lack of relationship with themselves, family, again, lack of relationship with family, issues with that, and then the number one job of the teenager is school. So they're having school issues. We call it the three-legged stool. If a human can have a pretty strong three-legged stool, self, family, and job, that's gonna help them feel a little bit more successful in life. And a three-legged stool on an uneven surface is sturdy, and so we wanna to help them be sturdy with their future. Some of them, you know, have uh, real issues with their family, and uh, that doesn't take long to, to show up, and sometimes it's mom, sometimes it's dad, sometimes it's both. Really overcoming the boy's sense of um, having authority issues. And then something that they're doing that's getting them in harm's way, so whether it's drugs and alcohol, use, abuse, experimentation, or actual true addiction. I'm the addiction counselor here at Bridges Academy. I've been here for three and a half years. What I do is I work with uh, the boys on addictive thinking, addictive behaviors. Just thinking, wow, I don't belong here. Well, my initial reaction was I was really upset. When I first came to Bridges, I was pretty depressed. I was just kind of shocked, too, that it actually happened. Most of our young guys are in pretty deep denial, very surprised, and so none of them want to be here initially and think their parents were wrong. The issues I need to own are stop manipulating people. Blame all my problems on other people. It's pretty majorly addicted to drugs. Being disrespectful. Relationship with my mother. Our program works over 12, 14, 16 months. One of the things that are very unique to Bridges is we have a really, really good educational uh, process. and We have three full-time teachers. So if you have a three teachers for 15, 16, 17 students, that's a great ratio. Our ability to, to, to pull kids out and work one-on-one -on -one is one of the aspects of the Bridges Academy program that's truly special. The challenges I have in the academic program are in my math and grammar. Problems with math. I have a lot of academic challenges. It's also a very family atmosphere. Um, we try to have fun. It's a place where, you know, there's a lot of things. We do therapy and we have all of those things that other therapeutic schools have. But I also think we really work hard at building a family relationship here. I like to the outdoor adventure. I like to ski a lot. Uh, there's football, there's basketball, there's soccer. Your outdoor rock climbing. I really enjoy climbing. Being on the top and looking down and just looking at what you've accomplished. We have one of the greatest views you'll ever see uh, with the three sisters right out our back window. I believe this location, we've been here for 16, almost 16 years, is really part of what heals our boys. The vast majority of our boys come from city life. We have a lot of activities here in Central Oregon. Uh, we go rock climbing and hiking and fishing, guys go mountain biking. Uh, so we're able to take advantage, you know, we're 30 minutes from one of the best ski areas in the Northwest. So here it's really unplugged, They're, it's simple as enough so they have what they need. Our boys will pick up a book when they get a little bit bored and some of our boys have really never read. Something I discovered about myself was I really like reading. I came here, I said reading books. Well, I learned to play the guitar while I was here. Creative writing class here was really cool. Here I'm actually reading books and stuff and liking them. Sometimes they come in not feeling very good about themselves and seeing themselves as a failure. And as they work their way through our program, there are opportunities and there's times when they fail, when they make mistakes, when they lie. And, and you know, when they cheat. I mean, you're gonna screw up, but just get right back on track. We're here on dealing with temptations. Just telling the truth sometimes. They have the opportunity to keep going, a second chance, maybe a third, fourth, or fifth chance. I like how you don't have to pretend to be anyone, you can just be yourself. I definitely appreciate the ability to catch up in school. I appreciate the food and the staff. The Bridges have given me like really a second chance. The way they help you. We really want them to be an active participant in creating a healthier vision for their future. Watching kids go through our process, seeing it work, and seeing families come together with a clearer vision for their future. We had him transported here 15 months ago. And I was talking to him not too long ago, and I said to him, Sam, you know, you can be anything you want to be. 
He said, yeah, of course I can, Dad. That's just not something he would have said 15 months ago. <laughs> I'm just so grateful to my family and to everybody at Bridges Academy. You feel good about yourself. You have plans. You're happy. You're laughing. You're healthy. Um, it's incredible. One of the best days of my life. They're able to verbalize at their graduations that they feel so relieved just to be who they are and not to try to pretend so much as to who they are. This is a new start. You all make it count. Before I came to Bridges, I would never be able to tell my dad that I loved him. I've definitely started to get along with my parents. I've seen a change in the relationship with my dad. It's actually surprised me is me and my mom getting along together. We're a lot more like trusting with one another. Their parents aren't giving up on them, and that's why they're at Bridges, that their parents love them and uh, really care about them. And so uh, Bridges is a way for them to, you know, find success and, uh, you know, get things turned around. I really appreciate them sending me here because they care about me a lot to do that. We're very proud, and our boys are proud of our success rate. They're leaving with way better academic skills, way better coping skills. Congratulations. They don't leave here with a, a hole. They leave here with a, a just a bursting out, ready to go, ready to make something of their lives. They've really become an author of their own life. <laughs>